Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. Um, the objective of this video is to share with you how to set, set up uh, the baseline in Microsoft Project and um, set up a baseline KPA uh, indicator. Um, we will be working with the file uh, we used for on the other post, uh, Microsoft Project Tip Timeline uh, View. And uh, we will be uh, starting with uh, basic project structure, uh, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, we have a basic project with uh, five phases, and the timely the timeline view is here already activated. So the first step is to activate the baseline to create the baseline. So we have to go here to project set baseline and select the baseline we want to create. We can see that we can create multiple uh, baselines. So we will go with the main one and finally, OK. Now we have created the baseline. Uh, the baseline in Microsoft Project um, is, um, I like to think, is kind of a screenshot of the project in one point of time. So, but this way, setting up the baseline today, we are registering the status of all the tasks with a plan for each of them, uh, start date, finish date, the duration of each task is being registered and tracked in the timeline, in, in the baseline. So now we will be adding two more columns here. The first one is baseline start, and then we will be adding baseline finish. So we can see how, as uh, there are no changes, the start and finish are matching the baseline start and baseline finish. So now, next step is uh, create the KPI. Uh, for creating the KPI, we will have to add a new column type duration. We will select the duration one, for instance. And then we will have to edit the custom fields on this column. We have the option to rename the field. So for this case, let's call it this line KPI. And then in custom attributes, we won't be working with, uh, with the default option, but we need to set up a formula. We will be using the value finish so we will be tracking the variance between the finish date and the baseline finish date we click ok and then the last change we have to do here on this on this uh, box is setting up the graphical indicators for the graphical indicators, we will be flagging the tasks with a variance bigger than five days. These tasks will be flagged with the red color. Flags mm, tasks with a variance between zero days and five days will be flagged in yellow color. And finally, tasks with a variance zero or less than zero will be flagged with the green color. So we are 
a flagging in red color the task with a delay bigger than five days uh, um, respect to the baseline we set up. The task with a delay between zero and five days will be flagged with a yellow color. And then the, the, the task with no delay will, will be flagged as green color. If we would like to uh, flag the, the, the task with uh, variance bigger than five days, we just need to update this field here with the variance we uh, like. Now we click OK. And finally, OK. So we can see how this baseline is appearing here in all the tasks. So just having a look, we can see that for now, all the tasks has, has have no variance uh, against the baseline we set up. So now for the example, let's do some, some changes. Let's say that the task one, which was supposed to be ending by 15th of December, uh, here there has been a delay, and this task ended on the 17th. This means this task has a variance of two days, which is flag here in yellow color as we configured. To see the number, we just have to put the mouse on the color and we will see the number of the delay, okay? So now let's try to flag one task with red color. Let's say that this task was supposed to be ending in 22nd of December, but now is ending, let's say, on the 30. Here it goes. So now there is a variance in this task of six days, which is bigger than five. So then this color gets red we can see how this is being registered. So this is the way to set up the baseline and, and then uh, the, the colors will be changing automatically um, uh, while we will be updating old project. Um, we will be updating the start finish dates of all tasks and then these dates will be automatically compared with the baseline we set up and then the baseline KPI will be reflecting that variance accordingly. Um, this is the way to set up the KPI and we can see that just having a quick look to the project, we can identify which tasks are with a, are delayed and which are which are close to to to, to reach the 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 five days delay we we configure. So I hope this explanation will be uh, useful for our, for all of you. Uh, feel free to um, leave a comment on the post if you have any question. And yeah. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye.